position we have settled, quite all the economic realities we have to try to change, and all the loud claims that we have made about various fields and this thing, what is the ultimate end of it? Today, uh, the corruption is far more than it was in 1947. The, the attitude of the people is far more negative than it was in 97. There must be some fundamental cause for it. And I have given you, that is why I have given you the man for the public sector, man from the private sector, man from judiciary, man from media, man from army, man from any segment of the state. Why is it that everybody is affected by the same virus? Every institution, there must be some fundamental reason for it. I think a, a point that, that I personally did not say, but which I've seen so much, is that you can have all the laws you want, yeah. all the rules you want, unless you've got that internal moral compass, people will find ways around it. So I think that, that you know, as I was also getting, uh, listening to you, now you're asking from practical things, of course. Because how do you turn a situation? How do you build this into a society? Um, where do you start? And I think you were talking, Mr. Bauer, yourself, uh, sir, about young people. And of course, um, it doesn't ha all happen in one day, but it starts a day at a time. And I have seen um, in, in some of the institutions in <coughs> Latin America, um, a group of people coming together who were artists, uh, playwrights, psychopedagogues, philosophers, um, young people, to try to develop what are the ways, what are, you know, they developed plays, they develop uh, learning tools, learning toys for grade two, grade one, but which were very <coughs> profound in what they were getting the young people to think through about, is this right? And what are we going to do about it? How are we going to fix it? Um, and, you know, it, it um, I think it starts with some groups of people in a community. Uh, and hopefully, you want to see it like oil on water uh, coalesce, you know, developing centers of excellence. And it's, it takes very strong leadership at the top if you want to do it in a much bigger way. Uh, but sometimes, uh, the pressure from the bottom, the, the ways of doing, the experiences um, can really build into a wave moving up. I don't want to use tsunami because they kill people, <laughs> but into a strong wave. And uh, uh, so this is why I was mentioning um, perhaps well, the importance of local communities and working with local communities in trying to start a different way of life. And my last point, I think even when you're looking at causes, and I, you know, I've seen, when I've looked at the banking sector in the 2008 situation, greed played a very strong factor. 